air. I know sometimes toxic energy could be a little bit exciting, but Leo, come on now. Hey Leo, welcome back. This is your February reading for Leo placement. So sun, moon, rising, Venus, whatever Leo placement you might have. Remember, this is general. It either resonates or it doesn't. If you are new, welcome. I am Simone the Moon Goddess. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell. All right, Leo, let's get into your reading. Let's start with an oracle and see what is your theme for February. What's a message for Leo? Spirit guys, give me a message for Leo. Are you all feeling uncertain? Let's see. Fork in the road. And it came out reverse fork in the road so you are a you are still mate right now you feel that way there's a decision to be made you kind of like should i go left should i go right should i go like should i turn back on myself and go back where i came from you have here and now which is interesting because your sister sign aquarius this was the card that came out for aquarius so it's at the bottom for you which is all about being present being in the present being mindful of your thoughts Okay, remember that you are creating your future with every thought that you take. Every thought, every thought, every thought, every breath. All right, so stay present. If you're unsure about which way to go, maybe it's just time for you to hold back for now. Maybe it's not about making any decisions. If you are in a position that you have to make a decision, then you need to go inwards and connect with yourself. Maybe it's about writing a pro and con, pros and cons list. You know, sometimes it's about just practical steps so you could to help you determine. If it is that there's nothing for you to do and you're waiting for life to happen, be mindful as you are waiting for life to happen. Don't be in an anxious state, worried state. Just be mindful of that, okay, my loves? All right, let's get into your tower cards. Eight of Swords. Be mindful of your thoughts, Leo. Leo. What's the message for Leo? What's the message for Leo? As always, may all messages be for the highest good of all involved with harm to none. Spirit guys, give me a message for Leo. Alright, so you have the magician and the devil. So whatever steps you're looking to take, make sure that you it's not about manipulation. Whatever you have control over wherever you can take action just make sure that it's not from a manipulative or controlling place or from a toxic place all right make sure that whatever decisions you're making that it's for the highest good of yourself and everyone involved and all of that good stuff all right make sure that you're not putting energy into things that don't serve you that are holding you back that are blocking you Blocking progress, you know, bad habits, bad, you know, lack mindset, negative self-talk, all of that energy. Okay, you have a queen of wands energy here. So also make sure that your connections are on the up and up and not working against you. All right, just make sure that you are not courting or enmeshing yourself with anyone. Knight of Cups, okay, okay. Let's see, what's going on with Leo? Alright, you, you all have all major cards so far. You have death and justice. This is your actual energy, your actual this is what's going on with you. Death and justice. So transformation and it's like this is Whatever, wherever you've been wronged, things are being justified. Whatever energy you've put into something is what you're getting back, which is why you have to be very mindful that you're putting energy into things that really support your growth and really support where you want to go. All right, because whatever that is, it's coming back to you. There's a transformation. So you have a lot of power to transform yourself. Just make sure that you're tying yourself to good things. You know, you don't really want to be tying yourself to anything, period. <laughs> Practice detachment. There's that too. But just know that there is some kind of transformation. Your spirit, you you on a level, this fork, fork in the road, is where life is changing. So you might feel as if you're being stuck or blocked. 
but life is changing. You are changing. You are not the same person that you were. All right. And whatever that is, whatever change that is, it's bringing balance into your life. You, okay. There's a sense of winning, a sense of um, beautiful karma. At the same time, it could be bad karma. You know, karma is karma. Is it good karma? Is it bad karma? Is whatever you put in is what you get back. So just be mindful. Begin with the end in mind. All right. But it seems to be something that you really want to happen here with the nine of cups. Let's see what's going on with your money, money, career, and business. What's going on for Leo? Money, career, and business. Another major card, Leo. Money, career, and business spirit guides for Leo. All right. So you have the fool and the five of wands. So there's this excitement when it comes to your money, career, or business. You know, you feel excited. There's You feel inspired. You feel creative. There might be some competition. Competition is healthy. All right. Go into it knowing that you have the goods. All right. The magician. All right. Um, don't feel as if. Watch out for, for a sense of imposter syndrome if that's something that you're dealing with. But I feel like as you branch out and you go on your your path towards your new career or starting your business or building your resume or whatever it is i was going to say be realistic you want to have a sense of you want to be a little bit unrealistic as in you know you're going into it no thinking believing knowing you are the best i'm the best i'm the best i'm so i'm great I'm not, I know what I'm about. I know what I want. I know how I'm getting this. I know what I'm doing, all of this, right? But don't turn your back on the fact that there is competition. Don't go into it thinking with roast into glasses, all right? There must be a sense of, yes, optimism, but be realistic at the same time. You might have, like, people could be competing with you. You don't even know. It also reminds me of, you know, that meme saying, you have more than one meme actually the meme where it's like you doubting your gifts and talents etc and there are people that have like less way less than you and they're out there doing it or you're here doubting yourself and people looking up to you and thinking wow you're so inspiring right so beautiful new venture up ahead but just being mindful that there could be some that there's competition there's there's there is a potential match or people trying to compete with you or whatever the case may be let's look at your love romantic your romantic life your relationships whatever resonates what's going on for leo when it comes to relationships in february thank you Leo, this reading is blowing my mind. Seven of Swords and Temperance. Another major card. Seven of Swords and Temperance. Okay, so when it comes to your romantic life, your relationships. Um, no, it's Temperance in the Seven of Swords. Yeah. Temperance in the Seven of Swords. That's how it came out. All right, so when it comes to your romantic life and your relationships, go where you are safe. Be with people who make you feel safe. Be with people who make you feel that you're thriving. Be with people or relate to people who support your growth, where there's a beautiful marriage of energy, all right, because... There is this sense of with the magician and the devil, there is this, there's light and there's dark happening here. There's a light and there's a dark. And here with your relationships, there is a sense of, there is a potential relationship that really allows you to thrive and to bloom and to be your highest. And then the, the potential for a relationship that's a bit dodgy, you know, people trying to get away with things, people trying to be a little sneaky, a little conniving. That could be the devil here, the, the toxic energy. Go towards you, what you really desire. I know sometimes toxic energy could be a little bit exciting, but 
Leo, come on now. All right, come on now. Don't fall into this trap. Don't fall into this trap. Let's see what's your word of advice. Leo's word of advice for it, guys. What's up, Ray? What's Leo's word of advice? Y'all just won't let me get the answers, huh? Three, three, three. As I say that, what's Leo's word of advice for February, Spirit Guides? What's Leo's word of advice for February? You got the Nine of Wands, the Ace of Cups, the Tower here at the bottom. So, renewal. All right? And part of this is having solid boundaries. Part of this is not feeling as if you act like if you're on a stage or pretending or imposter syndrome or whatever that is like there's this sense of healing you know there's this sense of feeling creative feeling inspired this could be a, a new cycle in a relationship a healed relationship this is, could even be a sense of healing within you for some of you it's this sense of wherever you feel overwhelmed or feel like life is bigger than you could handle or you know again am i the right fit am i doing the right thing which way to go fork in the road this is the right way but this way is exciting this this is a little bit dodgy but this is exciting you know wherever you need to be you need to heal that my loves heal that so that you can bloom and blossom and thrive okay there's a transformation coming make sure that you on this right side of the scale that you want to be on with justice here all right let's get some talk some more oracles and see what else comes through Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. All right, so maybe it's some of y'all trying to like avoid a connection in some way. This was this card came out for Aquarius. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. All right, so healing the inner child some in some way. Um, I see Libra here, Sagittarius. There's Scorpio uh potential gemini virgo capricorn yeah sagittarius i see quite a bit of sagittarius here I need some more messages for leo okay you're, the answers you need are coming for moon and gemini all right, so that fork in the road situation, you'll know which way to go soon enough. Just remember where you're directing energies. It's time to take action. New moon in Aries. That was the card that came out for Aquarius. I'd love to see how the sister signs. Energy, because they all on the same axis. It's the same coin, two sides of the same coin. I'd love to see how the same types of messages come out for y'all. You really can't make it up. Give me some more messages for Leo. February. Success is your card, my loves. Success is like, there's no competition. I don't even care who else is here. I'm here. That's all that matters. I am here. That's what I'm getting. Communicate clearly. The answers you need are coming. Communicate clearly. And compromises here at the top. Literally, alchemy. Allowing the, the energies, the two cups to merge together. Compromise. A bit of this and a bit of that. And not trying to run away from it or not trying to tiptoe away from it. Not trying to avoid whatever this connection is, the situation is. Let's get some of the Norman cards, my loves. Get some messages for Leo. February all 
All right, so you have the stork and the lilies. So something is being birthed here. All right, something is being birthed, something new. From death comes life. Got the death card here. The lilies. So it's interesting because Aquarius's reading, it felt like if they were dealing with a situation where they didn't feel as if, and I'm sure it was Leo's card. Leo's card came up for them in the room, in the romance connection, romance section, sorry. They were feeling as if their person wasn't being vocal enough, wasn't being like romantic enough, or they weren't sure in some way. And with this, I feel like there's something beautiful. There's a beautiful message, a beautiful, uh, some kind of new change, a, a change coming in, something, you know, something being birthed, but yet there's a coldness. So it's the same type of energy that I was getting for Aquarius. I don't know if this is something y'all dealing with where you feel like something you've been waiting to hear, maybe a message you've been waiting to hear, the answers you need are coming. And it feels anticlimactic in some way. All right, so that's an interesting one, Leo. I'm going to wrap up your reading here. Uh, you know, I hope these messages support you. Check out the playlist, Leo, and see what else is going on for you. And until your next message, my loves, be well. Bye-bye.